Hi, Eric here. I'm going to show you how to get your Facebook friends imported into Teamsy. First, you're going to go to your Facebook page, and right up here, you're going to toggle down this uh, menu right here, and you're going to go and find um, settings. There it is right there. Click on your settings. Okay, and on settings, you'll see right here a little text link that says download a copy of your Facebook data. Go ahead and click on that, and then click start my archive. Okay, it'll ask you to put your password in again for security. And then click Start My Archive. There you go. Okay, so you can see what it says now is that it's going to send an email to you when your download's ready. Just so you guys know, this email from Facebook, it could take five minutes, or sometimes it could take up to, I've seen it take as long as several days, okay? So unfortunately, we're kind of at the mercy of Facebook on this. And even then, sometimes there's an error in your file. So if you get an error, you just have to repeat these steps. But it's gonna be worth it because having your Facebook contacts in Teamsy is kind of where the magic happens. Okay, so now we've got the email from Facebook and you can see here there's a link to download your archives. You're gonna click that link, okay? And then it's gonna bring you to this page now we click download archive. Okay, put in your password one more time. Okay, and that's going to download. It only takes a second to download. Okay, now this is really important, guys. This is going to download a zipped file. Okay, now I get this question a lot, so I know that not everybody knows what that is. A zipped file is compressed, so they can give you a lot of data in a smaller, in a smaller package. You have to first unzip that file before you can do anything with it. So once we get it downloaded, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to double click that file to unzip it. Now whether you're on a Mac or a PC, double zipping, double clicking, sorry, a zipped file will do the job. It will unzip it for you. Okay, so as that downloads, you can see right here it's downloading that file. Even zipped, it's pretty large. Um, if you guys have, you know, 2,000 people in Facebook, there's going to be a lot of data. So we'll just wait a second for that. In fact, I'll just pause the video while we wait for that. Okay, so my download is now complete, so I'm going to just open that up. Okay, there it is. And you see it's going to be a zipped folder, so when we open it, my computer automatically unzips it now. Okay, so now I'm inside and you can see I've got several photo, uh, several folders. The one I want to open is the HTML folder, okay? And down in this folder, there is, an, there, there is a file, excuse me, I can't even talk, called friends.htm. See that one right there? Friends.htm. This is the file that you want, okay? So what I recommend you do is just drag this over to your desktop, okay? Just put it on your desktop. That way it's there where you need it, okay? So the friends.htm file. So now we're going to go back to Teamsy, and if you're in the setup wizard, you'll already be on your upload page. But another way to get there is you just go to this little wheel. This is your settings wheel. Click on settings, Okay, and then click on customer data, and then you're going to click this import button right here. Okay, and that's going to bring you back to these videos. And if you just scroll to the bottom, it'll go to the next page. That's just to give you some extra support if you need it. So now I'm on this page again. Okay, I'm going to click choose file. Okay, and it's going to open up your search, your search uh, window. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to desktop because that's where I put that file for us. Okay, and there it is right there. See? friends.htm. That's the file we want. I'm just going to choose that and you can see now, boom, it's ready to go, files uploaded because Teamsy already recognizes that file as exactly what it is. Now when I click continue, you can tell, you can see that it says we have successfully mapped all of your columns. Click the continue button, right? So, or I could show mapping if I'm curious, but why? It says it's successful, so I'm going to keep going. Continue. Okay, so now it's creating my contacts. How cool is this? So it's actually taking all of that data from Facebook and it's now importing them in. So you can see I've got uh, 1,438 people coming in from Facebook. It's putting them all into Teamsy. That's it, guys. The next step is going to be ranking. Um, we're going to go through and you're going to give people a score from 1 to 5. There's another video on that. But that is how you get your Facebook friends into Teamsy. And I hope that was helpful to you. Talk to you soon.